Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. I'll be checking out a video titled Top 10 Things to Do in Rome. So Rome, obviously Italy. So um, we're gonna be checking out that video right now and doing a little series for the Italians, trying to learn as much things as possible for uh, Italy. And uh, later on in the series, I'll dive more deeper into uh, history and all of that stuff for the Italians. But for now, I'm just doing some casual uh, videos to get a little bit of Italians over here, you know, um, trying to get them into what we're doing over here at Foreign Reacts. So if you are Italian, and, uh, Share the video with your family and friends, man. Uh, we're trying to get as much Italians over here as possible to see the series go by. But either ways, man, I'm moving to Europe, like I've said in previous videos as well. Um, a link for that channel uh, that will give you updates about me moving to Europe. That will be in the pinned comment section and um, social media, stuff like that will be there as well. So you guys can click it and go check it out. Really appreciate it. But either ways, man, let's get right into this video. In this video, you'll see 10 best places to visit in Rome, plus 2 bonus tips at the end of the video. And don't forget to like this- The title of the video is not 10 places to visit, it's top 10 things to do in Rome. This video and subscribe to our channel. The suggestions are based on our several exciting trips to Rome. Here are our top 10 picks. Number 1. Circus Maximus. Circus Maximus is an ancient Roman chariot racing stadium and mass entertainment venue. It was the first and largest stadium in ancient Rome. It could accommodate over 150,000 spectators. The site is now a public park. Number 2. Colosseum. Okay. Colosseum is the largest amphitheater ever built and it's made of concrete and stone. Construction was completed in the year 80. It was designed to accommodate an estimated 80,000 visitors. It was used for gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, animal hunts, executions, reenactments of famous battles and dramas based on classical mythology. Earthquakes over time caused great damage to the structure. Number 3. A Roman Forum. Roman Forum is a forum surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings right next to the Colosseum. Forum was the center of day-to-day -day life in Rome. For example, elections, processions, criminal trials, public speeches and commercial affairs were held there. The Roman Forum developed organically over many centuries. Number 4. <laughs> Altar of the Fatherland Altar of the Fatherland is a monument built in honor of the first king of unified Italy, Victor Emmanuel. This largest monument in Rome was controversial since its construction destroyed a large part of the hill and the medieval neighborhood. The terrace of the building offers an amazing panoramic view of Rome. Number 5. Wow. Pantheon. Pantheon is a former Roman temple and is now a church. It is the best preserved ancient Roman monument. The word Pantheon is a Greek adjective meaning honor all gods. The oculus in the center of the building is the main source of natural light. It truly is a majestic building. Number six. <laughs> all of these are ancient, bro. And I actually, it's really cool. But I, I actually visit all of these places just to see it because, like, you're telling, you're trying to tell me that all of these places are like a gazillion times older than I am. Like, what? Fountain. Trevi Fountain is one of the most famous fountains in the world. The legend says that whoever drinks the water from the fountain or throws a coin in it will ensure his return to Rome. No wonder we are in Rome all the time. Number 7. <laughs> Spanish Same. Steps Spanish Steps are a monumental stairway of 135 steps that were built in the 18th century by a French diplomat who wanted to connect Spanish Embassy and the Trinità dei Monti Church. As the widest stairway in Europe, it quickly became one of the major Roman attractions. Every spring, part of the steps are covered in flowers. Number 8. Villa Borghese. Villa Borghese is a landscape garden containing several buildings and villas, museums and other attractions. In 1605 they began turning this former vineyard into extensive gardens. The park was remade to its current form 
in the 19th century in English style. The city of Rome later bought the property and turned it into a public park. Number 9. Castle Sant'Angelo Castle Sant'Angelo was initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as the mausoleum for himself and his family. This extraordinary round-shaped building was later used by the popes as a fortress and a castle and is now a museum. It lays just outside Vatican City. Number 10. Vatican Although Vatican City is an independent state since 1929, it is located within Rome. Vatican has been the residence of the Pope since 1377. Don't forget to visit St. Peter's Square and Basilica. If you want to see the Vatican Museums, where you'll also see the 16th Chapel, be sure to enter from a different street. It is absolutely worth seeing. Number 11. Piazza Navona. Whoa, wait, aren't you guys doing top 10? Yeah, true, but since Rome is such a special place, it deserves one more. Piazza Navona is a square located in the heart of Rome. It is built on Dominician's ancient stadium and it's surrounded by beautiful Renaissance and Baroque buildings and it features magnificent fountains. And here are the two bonus tips that we promised. Bonus number one, Pyramid of Cestius. Did you know that Rome has its own pyramid? Over 2000 years old, Pyramid of Cestius is an ancient pyramid that lays next to Porta San Paolo, the ancient gates to the city of Rome. <laughs> Sometimes I look at these things and I'm like, these cannot be real. I've not seen a single building like this in my life. <laughs> Dude! Oh my gosh, like, I'm here in Wonderland, like, are these even real building? Like, oh my gosh. It was built as the tomb for Gaius Sestio Epilone, a member of the Epilone's religious corporation. Since 2015, the pyramid is open to public only on certain days. Bonus number two, the Mouth of Truth. The Mouth of Truth is a marble mask in Rome. It probably depicts the face of a sea god. Historians aren't quite certain what the original purpose of the disc was, but the legend says that if you lie when you place your hand inside it, the mouth will cut your hand. Plus an extra super super bonus! Villa d'Este. Villa d'Este is a 16th century villa in the town of Tivoli, approximately 45 minute drive from Rome famous for its terraced hillside Italian Renaissance garden and especially for its profusion of fountains. It is now an Italian state museum and it's listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Of course, there are many other things to see in Rome, such as Bats of Caracalla, Piazza del Popolo, Tiber Island and many more. We created a Google map with... Hey, oh man, that's wild. That's wild. And honestly, if God allows me, man, I got to visit Rome and um, likely I'm going to be announcing it and um, I'm going to see how I can get through with this, bro, and be able to, you know, travel throughout the Rome city and all that because, man, you know, life is for living, man. So I'm trying to do that. And, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I got exposed to these ancient looking ass buildings and I'm addicted to it. And I don't have a problem being addicted to it, but I just at least want to, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's it's kind of crazy to be addicted to, you know, water and you're not drinking it. You know what I'm trying to say? So me being addicted to these beautiful scenery, I got to at least, you know, try to get there. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's going to be what's up. So I'm out of here, guys. On to next time. Capisce.